Excellencies, uh, leaders of our continent, uh, business leaders, partners uh, who are here. I wanted to first of all thank uh, Dr. Desena uh, for inviting us to come and dis discuss, uh, to come here and discuss such an important issue as energy. In fact, uh, Dr. Desena. I'm here just because one invited me, secondly, because we, we are going to discuss the important issue of energy, which uh, everyone is aware of and, think, uh, and I think uh, we need to be moving fast and doing more and better uh, in this regard. But the statistics we have had, everybody repeat, and we have had these statistics read to us many times before. I think they are depressing enough to generate energy <laughs> <laughs> by themselves for us to move into action with full speed. Now, we have the need for energy. Absolutely, everybody knows that. Very acute need for that. We have even a bigger potential to satisfy those needs that we have. So the problem is, now, we should be asking ourselves, so why don't we, based on the very serious needs we have, and also the overwhelming potential we have in this area to be able to produce the needs, the energy we need, why don't we make it happen? Each country has good stories to tell of some progress that has been made. But still, our best, the best we have done is not good enough. We are still lacking electricity to power our industries, our homes, our streets, and so on. Now, I will just summarize by saying this. One, we need to get organized nationally, but across borders for us to work together, regionally. It is not enough for Rwanda to be doing well and making some literal progress and we are satisfied with that. In fact, if we work together, just a quick example, Ethiopia is going to produce thousands of megawatts given the undertaking they have today in that regard. I would suggest, for example, in the region, why wouldn't we join Ethiopia or any other country in the region that is doing a good job of you know, trying to produce as much electricity as they can or based on the potential they have? So that if we haven't produced enough for ourselves, we can produce from Ethiopia or another country that is going to produce more than probably they can consume at that particular time, as we also resolve those other problems. So if we work together, and I, here I don't believe it's an issue of uh, financing as such, much as we always talk about that as the major stumbling block, but I think it's one of the several problems that we can still address and actually uh, be able uh, to reach uh, the goals we have uh, set ourselves, that must also be very clear. So the African Development Bank, I wanted to thank you and the partners you work with and we all work with uh, for what is already uh, being uh, uh, rolled out. But I just wanted to remind ourselves that we are still at a very low base. And I think we need to be tired of repeating these stories that show how uh, behind we are the rest of the world. 
And if, then when you are talking about manufacturing, I don't think we are going to re reach anywhere with the manufacturing without electricity. There is no question about it. So on one hand, we have so big ambitions, but on the other hand, we are having these stories that uh, show that we can't reach there and reach there in time. So can we try and mobilize ourselves and organize ourselves and, and really focus on how much we can deliver in the shortest time possible, but the bottom line is we have to work together. I want to thank you and uh, hope that uh, our presence here and uh, the good work you are doing with the Africa Development Bank will uh, bring uh, new energy into this. Uh, maybe uh, the new deal should be the new energy. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>